Hi, if we get a lot of aeroplane noise and stuff like that around, well, forgive me folks, I'm outside. And we don't normally get it, but every time you start one of these, aeroplanes come. In England at the moment, we're in the midst of uh, political fever. The media, of course, are delighted because they've got something to talk about. And they talk about it, and they talk about it, and they talk about it. And um, it's a bit sad, really, isn't it? Because I think it would be good if the politicians were not allowed on television. And then you would just judge them on what they've done and where we're going and all that jazz. One of them things. But somebody asked me the other day, uh, one of the media, for a political joke. And my favourite political joke is about... A, it starts off a bit sad. It's a member of our glorious parliament um, who, uh, I'm not saying which party, he, uh, it's a bit sad, he's crossing the street and he gets run over, big truck, bam, gone, phew, and he's knocking on the pearly gates and Peter opens the gates and says, hi, how are you doing? Oh, we don't normally get people of power here, we don't, oh no, that's a... Uh, wonderful surprise uh, welcome he said, I'd like to come in please no 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 you you've got to follow the rules rules oh yes we've got rules and uh, people aren't aware of them but we've got rules you see it's unfair of us to just push heaven onto you that's not right is it what we've got to do is we've got to um, give you the choice of course we have um, you must spend 24 hours in hell 24 hours in heaven and then make your mind up so you yeah, oh, Right, so they put him in the elevator, down he goes, and he finishes up, he opens the, the elevator doors, he's in hell. Well, he's on the most beautiful golf course you've ever seen in your life. All his friends are there, hello, nice to see you, time you got here. And they're drinking champagne, they're, that, that's being served by beautiful women in mini skirts and all that jazz. And off they go, they have a phenomenal game of golf lunch. Well, lobster, caviar, champagne, more champagne. And that night they're out clubbing, it's a wonderful day, wonderful day. And the day is over all too soon, and off he goes to heaven. And he arrives in heaven, and it's very nice. There's not a lot of activity, really. People sitting around playing harps, and, and it's very peaceful and quiet, and everything is going rather well. Um, but, you know, no clubs, no golf. And uh, Peter turns up and says, Well, let's make your mind up time. And he says, Well, heaven is really nice, Peter. It really is, but... I think I'll prefer hell. Okay, he says, back in the elevator, down he goes, he opens the doors out, he, well, there's fire and brimstone, all his friends are bowed over, carrying huge weight, there's people whipping them, and Satan, who yesterday was a nice, funny guy, was, ah, get over there, do this, and then he says, just a minute, just a minute, what happened? Yesterday was all golf courses and champagne and, and everything. Ah, yes, he said, but yesterday we were campaigning. Then you bolted.